Hey sisters and brothers, this is Dave Schneider. I'm running for president of Teamsters Local 512, and I'm running on the 512 Teamsters United slate here in November. I'm joined by my union brother, Ramon Turner, today. Ramon's a school bus driver with Student Transportation of America. He's an elected steward out of the New Berlin bus yard that services the north side. He's been a bus driver off and on since 1992. He's a U.S. Army veteran, and recently he was terminated unjustly by STA in what we think is definitive anti-union activity from this company. Ramon, thanks for joining us today. Let's talk a little bit about yourself first. Uh, you know, tell us a little bit about your background with the union. Well, no problem, Brother Day. Uh, the union goes way back. I've been affiliated with Teamsters for many years, uh, other union also. Uh, but since I've been here in Duval County, uh, I've been a shop steward over here. And uh, I put in extra time, make sure my brothers and sisters are taken care of. Uh, when I replaced the, the old steward, they weren't doing anything. It was just going out there, uh, going home. I sat there with the first steward in the bus world to have their own office, on campus of the bus yard, so I can service my members for every beck and call they need. Any problem they had, they knew they could come to me, and I would take care of the situation. They. Well, and you and our sister, Faith Jackson, who is the chief steward up here, you two have kind of been the dynamic duo of the uh, the New Berlin bus yard. You guys had the highest union percentage of any bus yard in our local union, right? Yes, sir, Dave. Let me tell you real quick, like, me and sister Faith Jackson, when we, we got together, this yard didn't have very low turnout membership-wise. I signed up over 40 drivers in a matter of a year and a half. That just tells you how how much me and Faith have gotten involved and got members who want to be involved to follow the leadership of me and Faith Jackson. Well, I, I, I have to ask you this. So recently, Student Transportation of America unjustly terminated you. Now, when you called me about this, I knew it was outrageous, but looking back over the course of the last couple of months since we all started working together. Even though I'm at UPS, you're a school bus driver. We're both part of the same local union working together. Since we've been working together, I've seen this pattern happening. You want to talk a little bit about the circumstances that have led up to STA illegally and unjustly terminating you? Just real quick, you know, ever since uh, me and Faith Jacks got involved into the organizing, the new slate here, um, United, we knew that we was going to put targets on our back. We told our members, don't worry about it. Let us have targets on our back. We knew the company and the old slave might be coming for us. So, yes, they finally got me. But let me tell you a little something. You know, the air general manager over at STA, he tried to break up a meeting, a gathering off the clock, off the property, don't have anything to do with STA, and he come over here and tell me to disperse. That was one thing. I go to a location over on Lee Road. The operation manager, the assistant manager, they ran me off their property. They called the police. I'm in the middle of the street. I'm passing out breakfast, but they still want to sit there and discourage any organizing of this of this magnitude. So once again, you know, uh, I was over at my own terminal. They asked me to leave, and my sister Faith to leave the private. She's on a, a, a leave, and they asked her that she's an elected shop steward, the head shop steward. So this is some of the things they do to try to intimidate us, but we're not going nowhere. Yes, they did finally let, let me go, but I'm still not going nowhere. I'm still representing my members. I'm still going to be there every day, and you best believe I can't go nowhere. Ain't nobody going to make me. Well, indeed, we filed labor charges already on the area general manager, and I'm sure there's going to be more to come. But, Ramon, when we've been out at bus yards even together, we've talked to a lot of drivers, not just at STA. I mean, at a lot of the different STA yards in town. I mean, even at Durham, I've heard from a lot of school bus drivers this atmosphere of intimidation and harassment. You and Sister Faith Jackson 
up here. You guys were part of First Student. They had all the GS4 yards servicing the north side for a long time. And, you know, it seems like at least here, you've noticed and other drivers have noticed a, a stark change from the time STA bought out these yards and switched over and that there's been a move towards increasing anti-union activity. Yes, well, we already been presented uh, through other people letting us know that STA is not union friendly. They like to bust us up. Now, our old company, First Student, you know, we were the family over here. They worked with us, the union, the union worked back with them. But STA, they want to be so dominant. They want to be like dictators. If you speak out, if you do anything wrong, they will get rid of you. When we were the first two, we got so many SCA old drivers to come over to work with first student because that's how it is. If you speak out, they think they're Russia. If you speak out, they chop your head off. So they're very intimidating. Uh, they don't like no one speaking about them. And they like to divide and conquer. It's, it's wild to see. And I mean, the union's response, or should I say non-response, has been equally egregious. I mean, what, what if anything, has the union done to respond to this kind of repeated anti-union activity, this targeting of members who are getting together for parking lot meetings? Well, as of right now, I don't see they doing anything. Like you say, Brother Dave, we've been around different yards. Like They, they call the police. But we also spoke to people. And the people are speaking out. They can't even get their pay. You know, if you're paid and you have a contract at so many yards, which they do, they're supposed to get their pay at 24 hours. Do you know they sit there and tell them, don't worry about it, we'll pay you your next check? And where the union at? The union's sitting right there allowing this to happen. We just negotiated a contract. It don't even have no health care. But why do the, the leadership of the management that we have now allow this to happen? You know, they say you pay your dues for serving for them to lead up and to lead the way. They're not leading the way. Well, I'll just say this is exactly why 512 Teamsters United is running. It's why we've got bus drivers, why we've got all UPS employees, why we've got people from every corner of our local standing together. I'll just say this, 512 Teamsters United, Ramon, we've got your back. We're going to be filing labor charges. We are going to hold STA accountable. We're going to take on any anti-union activity at an STA bus yard or anywhere else. And we're not going to stop the fight for bus drivers, monitors, and mechanics until it's done. So thank you for joining me. You got any final remarks? I would love to make one final remark. Now, do you understand how you make me feel knowing that one day you will be in that leadership position and you'll fight for just not only me, but all members? So if you're willing to fight for me, imagine what we can do for the rest of the members. Amen. Please brother. get on board. Amen. All right. Well, we appreciate you joining us, folks. Union Power. Mm -hmm.